welcome to Good Morning Lagos on Ibilet.tv. This is the program that will tell you everything good, interesting, exciting, and informative about the city you love, Lagos. My name is Nimat Alexion Lawyer, and I have Adirile Ijelu in the studio with me today. Good morning, Lagos. I'm yours too, Adirile Ijelu, as Nima said. How are you, Adirile? I'm fine, and you? I'm good. I'm doing well. Okay. How's it been? Today? Still going fine. Mm. For now, you know, it's still this is like what's the time now? We still have about four, seven, seven, or twenty five hours before the end of today. So never can tell what's going to happen. Well, interesting. So there was a little bit of a whole lot of traffic on Todd Milan Bridge this morning because there was a bond vehicle. Okay, you passed through the road. Yes, there was a bond vehicle on the Todd Milan Bridge. Although the management, the Lasema, the Lagos mm. Emergency Unit has been there to ensure that they remove the vehicle off the road. So I think, although it has been, it has made a whole lot of people late to their work this morning, but come on, you just have to enjoy the moment here in Lagos. You know, in Lagos, sometimes the, the, you can't believe what's going to happen. Exactly. And but something about Lasema is that whenever anything happens, before, the, before let me just say, five, two minutes, they're already there. Yes, yes, but, they are. But still, it's still, it's still affects some things like that. Like exactly. you said, some people are here to get to the office while I'm already here doing what I love to do. <laughs> But it's all good, it's all good. It's just a matter of time. Everything will be good. Everything will be peaceful well, in Lagos. The government is working on it. Yes, they are. So let, let's start off today after this break. <music> Welcome back on Headlines for today. We'll be starting off with the Punch newspaper. And on it, we can see a denial. Minimum wage. Denial characteristics of the Buari administration, says article. You know, there was a news that was passed yesterday that the federal government is denying the fact that they approved the 30,000 30, naira minimum wage. Hmm. But it was stated on, on Tuesday or Monday that, okay, the presidency has already approved 30,000. Then the news coming up yesterday that, okay, the pres yes. president has denied the father. So now who is lying? Is that the media or the federal government? The thing is just that there's a contradiction. Maybe before the end of this week, we are going to get the real statement. Yes. 2019 polls. Senate slashes power, health, education, presidency funds. That is something. I think the Senate are trying to make sure that, okay, they are the Senate of the Federal Republic mm -hmm. because we are, about, we are about, okay, four, three months to the election. Mm -hmm. You know, as I yesterday, the Senate also reshuffled some committee, first standing committee, now they are doing something like that. Well, when they, when they start for election, that was what they know, okay, okay, I'm the Senate of Nigeria, <laughs> I will do this, I will do that. We should have been doing it before now. Southeast governors have failed woefully pro Biafra agitators. Southeast. Let's see the southeast, the southeast. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep moving. <laughs> moving on ideally. Okay. This morning I'm going to be taking the nation uh, so the nation newspaper. Director faces six point six million theft charge. As a director of six point six million, million naira, naira theft the money charge. Is huge. Yes, it is. Also, like my like Nima said, Buari article clash over thirty thousand minimum wage. Everything is on the newspaper, so it was on the punch newspaper. Now we also find it on the nation newspaper. Clash. The thing is, okay, you know, before Buari became the president, he said, okay, we are going to increase the minimum wage from certain amount to certain yes. amount. Now, Atiku is saying, if I become president of Nigeria, I'm going to change the, the minimum wage from twenty something or thirty something to another thing, maybe fifty. But what, what if he become the president? Will you do that? You never can tell. A whole lot of people make promises before they get on that hot seat. They'll be on the altar and they'll be like, wow, I can't cope. He made mention of the fuel price also. He's going to reduce it to what? For some time. But one thing, like people are not feeling, people, one thing people are feeling to understand is the moment this minimum wage is increased, every other thing increases. Okay. Every other thing, from road to food to anything you can't think of in Nigeria, definitely, because they will, they will assume that oh, since there's been an increase now, so that means every other department too should have an increase. In well, the thing, even despite us having maybe 19,800, things are still expensive. 18,000, 19,800 19, for youth corpus. For the youth corpus. But that's the minimum wage. Okay, 20,000 is the minimum wage. No, 18,000 is the minimum 000. wage. In my opinion, what's the difference? But things are still expensive. <laughs> so it's going to be really crazy by the time this increases. It's on the high rise. Okay. And lastly, on the nation newspaper, OPEC output cuts likely next year. Mm. The OPEC is what organization of exporting countries, Nigeria is part of it, and the, the output might cut next year, 2019. Mm. Is it because of the election? <laughs> we don't know. Because I'm not sure Nigeria election is going to affect OPEC. 
which is an international body. All right, that's all for the Nation newspaper this morning. And that's all we have for you for the headlines for today. You could pick up any of the newspapers to read more on the stories. We'll go on a quick break and when we'll come back, we'll tell you, we'll tell you what's up later. So good morning, Lagos. And this segment is What's Up, Lagos. Where we tell you what is trending in Lagos. And currently, the person that is trending is Prince Charles. Prince Charles is the last gay <laughs> The art Well, of the he nation. doesn't really have an option than to come to Lagos. You know, I was telling a friend of mine when he was well, when he was in Abuja okay. that he was. A friend asked me that will he come? I said definitely. He's he doesn't to come to Lagos. have a choice. Who will come to Nigeria? Who come to Nigeria? No, come to Lagos. Like. Like, like, it's not even impossible. It's not possible, rather. There is this trending thing. Is it that you come to Lagos first? Or Lagos exactly. will be the last, last place? Exactly. So you just come here to catch <laughs> foreign, feel, feel good about yourself. So although that's not the only reason why he's in Nigeria, he's also here to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the British, of Council. The British Council in Nigeria. Imagine. Directly or indirectly. I think we're still cool now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, how can we say? Because he's beginning. Well, and on his, while he was in Abuja talking to the traditional rulers, one of the things he mentioned was, was about um, peace, security, peace, security, and and about our accommodations. And I was like, is it that we don't know about this before? So if the Why prince doesn't us? say, no, like, no, no like if the prince doesn't say, like they're they not they are not accepting the fact that we need to do all these things. Demographic exposure. That was the word. That if the prince doesn't talk about this, are we saying that Nigerians don't now. know that we are supposed to do this? Because the Kano, the Kano, the mayor of Kano, the mayor of Kano actually talked about it. That Kano has evolved a whole lot of time, as in a whole lot of people have for the, for the past forty to fifty years. Kano have increased in population, and the houses are still the same. That's so they need to indeed. build more houses, and by by this they will actually Imagine destroy he's, farmland he's and, and steadily. Um, Steadily, by the time yeah. they start destroying farmland, that will be reduction in fruit supply. It's going to affect the nation. So we, they, they need to plan. A whole lot of plan has to be put in place to ensure that all of these things just don't come in waste. Well, he's telling Prince Charles, have you? Telling Prince Charles, Prince Charles really wants to do something well, about Well, he's telling also. everyone. He's telling everybody that wants to listen. <laughs> you know he's always fond of saying, saying his Same mind, too. So, so he's telling everyone. So we just need to put in all this into action, and everybody will be happy. But well, Prince Charles, welcome to Lagos. He was received by the deputy is governor. Why am is not there? He was received by deputy governor. Doesn't Adibuli. matter. You know when Can uh, the governor general of Canada came, yes. it was uh, Ambody. Mm -hmm. Before then, Ambody. But now and this time, he's Prince preparing Charles himself for something. for something bigger. Like he's preparing something big for Prince Charles. Please leave Ambody and his deputy <laughs> alone. Like, they're, 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 they're a team. So he also ever go to represent the states. Doesn't matter. You represent the person. Okay, exactly. no problem. <laughs> Accept it. Yeah, the the last rap exposes staff to FBM practice in records, archive and management. You know, they they want us to they want the states the state staffs to ensure to keep records because it's very, very important. Record is very, very Re important. Record is very, and very important. Evol evol exactly. So we need for for those that would be in in this position in the next 10 years they'll be able to look back and see what okay. you have done this and any proof on it so that's why record is always very important it's not just about the state government alone each and it's every one of you you need to keep record of what you do just for just future purposes, for future purposes because you don't know, know when it will be relevant to anybody so and that's all we have to tell you on what's up Lagos today and they really would continue with the show Welcome to Decision 2019, I'm Adirele Ijelu. The Senate President Bukola Saraki on Wednesday reshuffled heads of four standing committees. The Chairman of Committee on Police, Senator Abu Ibrahim APC Kasina State, had been redeployed to the Committee on Labor, while Senator Tijani Kuara from APC Zamfara took over the position. Also, the immediate past Senate Majority Leader, Senator Ali Indume APC Bono State, now heads the Committee on Establishment, why the newly sworn in APC lawmaker from Bauchi State, Lawa Yaya Guma, mans the Committee on the Federal Capital. Also, the Lagos State House of Assembly passed a bill for a law to provide for the establishment, sorry, establishment of the Lagos State Tourism Promotion Agency and for connected purposes. 
The agency is being put in place to promote the state tourism industry and achieve international best practices in the delivery of tourism products and services. That's all for this 2019. Up next is weather reports. Don't go anywhere. weather report for today 31 degrees high and 26 degrees low and 25 degrees centigrade as the normal light fog probability of rain and enjoy the beautiful day it's as simple as that because right now lagos weather is is not defined it's, it's rich so so you just need to enjoy it as it comes now before the end of the day it might rain and it might not it might not rain but there's just there's always probability i know probability is either for or against so just just stay put, but just ensure that you are in a safe and conducive environment. It's as good as that. So I really with this, we have come to the end of the program. Join us tomorrow for another exciting episode of Good, good Morning, Morning Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> and if you like that, if you ensure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on our social media pages mm -hmm. at Ibile TV, TV Lagos. Lagos. Drop your comments on any of the platform and do ensure you have a blessed day. And before I go, I'm actually going to make a shout out to my friends. Today is his birthday. No, not to you. Today is his birthday. I wish him long life and prosperity. His name is Abiola. So, Abiola, I wish you long life and prosperity in good health and wealth. And I hope you are seeing this right now because it's really special. Definitely seeing this one. <laughs> All right, bye for now. Mm -hmm.